This lesson preview of Conceptual Fractions allows you to take a look at two different lessons within our software. You can look at a lesson on making equal parts, which is a very first lesson in our very first big idea. Or you can look at a lesson that's later on multiplying by unit fractions. So let's take a closer look at what that lesson sequence looks like. A lesson sequence consists of an opener, a guided lesson, and a closer. It's very highly structured and consistent from day to day. The lesson opener provides supports for you as a teacher to launch the lesson and engage students. The guided lessons are student individual practice, and you'll see by looking at the video what the formative assessment looks like and how you can differentiate instruction. The lesson closer helps you summarize the lesson. So let's look more in depth at a lesson opener. Each opener begins with an introductory screen that tells you the type of opener it is because we have four different types and provides you with the key concept that you should reinforce with students. The openers consist of a number of screens that introduce the different problem types students will encounter in the guided lesson. But you'll notice what's really nice about this is that we provide sticky notes that guide you as the teacher through the discussion that you're going to have so that you can engage all students. Today we'll learn how to make a model. You're going to see that it tells you what kind of questions to ask and there's a teacher eye that's built in. The teacher eye will provide you with the answer, how to work the models, and sometimes some best practice. So once you've done this 10 minute opener with students, they'll go on to the guided lesson. The guided lesson provides students with problem types that move them from models only to eventually numbers only throughout a big idea. In this particular problem, we're starting with the model only. You'll notice that if students click on a speaker, they can get text read aloud. You'll notice that when they want to shade parts or make parts, they use the scroll bar, they can click to shade equal parts, and then they can check their work. The guided lesson takes between 8 and 15 minutes, and it ends with a formative assessment. For more specifics on the guided lesson that you're going to preview, click on that particular video and you'll see all the problem types, you'll see more about the feedback and the specific information on the formative assessment for that previewed lesson. The last part of the lesson sequence is the lesson closer. And like the other parts of the lesson that you previewed, we have a video that specifically goes through the details of this closer that you're previewing. The closer, just like the opener, has sticky notes that guide your discussion and teach your eyes that provide more information. So it gives you an opportunity in five minutes to check for understanding and summarize learning. Now, once you've done this preview of one or both lessons, you have an opportunity to go beyond that and do a one-week trial in which you can actually observe students working with the software, or a one-month where you can do an entire unit on fractions.